Whenever importing low polygon models into 3D Code Sculpt Workspace, you always had the option to subdivide the model, but there are many circumstances where doing so is going to produce undesirable results. The reason for that is just like in your standard 3D application, when you apply a subdivision modifier to a low polygon object, you have to give that low polygon model some supporting geometry where you want to preserve hard edges or details. However, that can take quite a bit of work when you're wanting to do some sculpting or perform a few small tweaks or edits to the model itself. And in that case, to prevent having to go through all that trouble, you can just choose flat subdivision. And that means it's not going to produce any smoothing. It's only going to give you more geometry. And so that is the option we want. So let's click subdivide. And I want you to watch closely in this area because this part of the model has not been prepped with any supporting edge loops. Okay, and you can see how big of a mess that can make. Same thing here at the back and other parts such as the uh, shoulder region. So let me click on my model again to kind of reset it. This time what I'm going to do is choose flat subdivision. It looks a bit bad now, but it's really mostly the normals. It's still kind of low poly, so I'll click that one more time. And once more. Alright. So that looks about right. And same thing here in the back. It did not add any smoothing. So we can now click apply. And that's going to commit it to a layer. I can step out of the import tool into any other tool. I have wireframe turned on so I can see the result of the operation. So yeah, we've got plenty of geometry to hold the hard edges that we had on our low polygon version. Okay, so that's a quick look at using flat subdivision when importing low polygon models into the Sculpt workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.